What in the Bodito Dumb and Bodito D is going on? Louis Ruelas's ex fiance is now accusing him of hiring a private investigator to act as a patient to get and stalk her. She's now filing a restraining order against him. I didn't believe it until I read the full story. Let's unpack this. Go grab a snack. Welcome back to the Kempire Channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, stories come to me all the time, especially stories about Louis Ruelas. I don't jump on any of them, but I do review them. And this particular story is being reported by Page Six in regards to Louis' ex, who we talked about a couple of years ago, before Louis was even featured on the show. We kept on telling you, he's got a shady past. There's things happening. There's things coming out. There's accusations. There's court documents. There's uh, lawsuits. And I know there's more and more lawsuits that his company is facing right now. Including a harassment lawsuit? Okay. I can't cover all the things Louis Ruelas. I try to keep my, 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 my aura clean. I'm going to burn some, burn some sage after this. But this report that just came out from page six, I was starting to read it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. what. I and then I get to this part where Bo Deedle is brought up. All right, let's get through this together. So Louis Ruelas' ex-fiance, Vanessa Reiser, has filed a restraining order against the Real Housewives of New Jersey star. He's not, oh, anyways. Uh, amid claims, he allegedly hired a private investigator to, quote, stalk her. This information is coming out after recent Bo Deedle situation came up on the Real Housewives of New Jersey. So it's not so far-fetched because he was the one who brought this up and then later denied it on Watch What Happens Live. So Riser, who works in New Jersey as a licensed therapist specializing in narcissistic abuse, claims she recently discovered that one of her female patients was likely hired to, quote, spy on her. Don't go anywhere. Keep paying attention to this story because I know you like me. I'm like, okay, girl, I, now it's a reach. I don't know. Why would you think this? Why are you jumping in on the whole New Jersey storyline? But wait, but wait. So her attorney, Douglas Anton, exclusively spoke to page six and shared the suspicious sessions began in February. So the woman allegedly visited Riser about three or four times under a fake name and procurely asked the therapist about the therapist's past relationships with Ruelas every time. I don't know why she would even continue sessions with this woman. Because me personally, if you're bringing up my personal information, I probably would have been like, I don't think I'm the right therapist for you. I'm going to find you someone else. Just saying. So some of the alleged unusual questions were, do you still love Louie? How was it with your, abu your abuser? And if Ruelas were, were to leave his wife, Teresa, and show any regret, would you want to be with him? Well, here's the thing. Maybe because she's been so public about her relationship with Louis, maybe that's why she didn't see anything wrong with these questions. But she did find it peculiar. So they continue said, it was weird that she kept asking all this information that if Louis ever left his wife and he was unhappy, would she ever take him back? Do you think Louis wants to get back with her? I mean, she's a beautiful woman. I'm not going to deny that. So, was, But so was, so was Teresa. But I do find it interesting. You know, last time on the reunion, to, Melissa accused Teresa, uh, not Teresa, well, she accused Louis of wanting to get with Teresa's doppelganger, <laughs> Alexia, from the Real Housewives of Miami. I have to say, when you squint your eyes a little bit, just a little bit, Vanessa Riza kind of favors them in a way. Actually, she looks more, more of a natural beauty. Anyways, continuing. So, so they said, although the question seemed intrusive to Riser, Anton 
claims they didn't immediately set off alarms because her former relationship with Wellis is well documented online. All right. Okay. So page six exclusively reported, as you know, back on April of 2021, that the therapist who dated the New Jersey based businessman from 2018 to 2020 once accused him in a lawsuit of, quote, punishing her if she did not meet his sexual demands, along with other egregious claims, including this is the story I kept on telling you about where she alleged that he pushed her out of a business they started together. A riser decided to take legal action against her dubious patient when one of the prepaid cards that she submitted for payment did not go through. After trying to collect funds for 30 days to no avail, she hired Anton to, to file a collections request. The New Jersey-based lawyer tells Page Six it was at this point that he and his team learned that the woman allegedly was not a real patient after all and had been using a fake name during her sessions. Anton says his brilliant staff tracked down the woman's real name via an address she gave which allegedly linked her to a list of employees for private investigator Bo Deedle. I'm going to say that again. So her attorney, who had been ordered to figure out who this person is, figured out that this woman used the fake name as a patient. He's saying, allegedly, that the woman's real name via an address she gave which allegedly linked her to a list of employees for private investigator Bo Deedle. Bo Deedle has recently come out and says that Louie has never hired me to investigate the housewives. This is a personal friend of Louie. All right. Deedle's name came up, as you already know, on the recent episodes of Real Housewives of New Jersey, where he claimed that one of his best friends and allegedly brought him information on the cast. So Deedle then publicly denied that, as you know, th that he was hired to investigate any of the housewives. When reached, when reached by page six, the Deedle, the Bo Deedle and associate CEO again reiterated he has never looked into any of the Bravo celebrities, but declined to confirm or deny allegations pertaining, pertaining to Riser. We were never hired by Louis Ruelas to do any background checks on any cast members from the Housewives of New Jersey, the retired NYPD detective tells us. As far as whether he hired us for a potential private investigations, that's confidential. He then adds, we've been in business for 38 years. We are a very professional private investigating company and everything we do is through the laws and everything we do is above any kind of negativity. So according to page six, however, a source confirms to page six that the Ruelas hired the PI to, quote, protect him and his family, but did not disclose exact details about the investigations. You know, if you saw the preview for the reunion that airs tonight, part two, they talk about Louis having protection at the reunion. Is this Bodito's people? Uh, an insider claims they said Bodito's company was hired to protect Mr. Ruelas and his family, which now includes a total of six children from individuals who posed a threat to their well-being. Riser's attorney Anton tells Page Six that he doesn't have any, quote, proof that Ruelas hired Dito and therefore his employee to stalk Riser, but said they hope the reality star will address the allegations at an upcoming hearing for the restraining order. Right now, Riser is concerned that it was Ruelas behind the woman's visits and that he has something up his sleeve. Or, and again, I'm going by the questions, he is unhappy in his current situation and wanted to see if Vanessa would ever pay him the time of day. Because that seemed to be the way where the questions were going. Anton says that he and Riser don't want to make a mountain out of a molehill and are not looking to file any criminal charges against Judice's husband. They simply want a reason to why he allegedly hired the PI and for them to peacefully part ways. Anton says that Riser, she has been extreme, exceedingly happy living her life. She has a wonderful gentleman in her life and everything is going well. Her practice is going well. Her move, to, her move to Jersey is just a wonderful thing, and she didn't want this at all. I don't know if I believe all of that, y'all. And I'm not saying that she's one of the people that have been fishing these stories to, to the blogs. But 
And this is why I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But the element of this story where she alleges that based off their research, the fake name that this woman used to be a patient, and when they found out the real name, they found that she was connected to employees of Bo Deedle Deedle and Deedle Deedle Dumb. So they said the source questions the therapist's motives, according to page six, citing her history of filing restraining orders against her exes, including Ruelas and an ex-husband. Page Six has reviewed copies of those documents and told all were, quote, mutually dismissed. The insider adds, probably Teresa, this is a woman who has a well-documented history of harassing and disparaging individuals with whom she was pre previously in a relationship with. What she continues to do with Louis, she did with her ex-husband, and that is well-documented in existing court orders. The restraining order follows the exact same pattern. Anton says that Riser has, quote, simply used, used the court to protect herself, just as Ruelas has done. She has always probably used the judicial system to protect herself. Her attorney says this in a statement in regards to the accusations from these insiders. We have no reason to believe that this anonymous source is anything but a liar as they clearly knows nothing about the verified horrific facts and allegations contained in requests for restraints that Ms. Reiser has had to file in the past just so that she and her family could feel safe. They said the source also questioned why Reiser via an attorney would, pu would speak publicly about the allegations against Ruelas, claiming it does not follow the modus operandum of a victim. Victims of DV apply for restraining orders because they fear for their safety, an insider says. In this case, she was also, she was so afraid that she called a well-known podcaster who covers the Real Housewives to tip them off as to what she was doing. The only thing she's afraid of is not getting more attention. Anton replied to that, her attorney, saying this, that's the last thing Vanessa wanted to do. Vanessa did not invite Bo Deedle's investigator into her office. She chooses to lead a very private and professional life. Page six says they reached out to Louis Ruelas' attorney, Christopher Aranti, and denied the applications made about his client in Riser's restraining order. He tells Page Six exclusively, the New Jersey anti-domestic anti violence statute is meant to serve as a shield, not a sword, which is taking place now. We categorically, we categorically deny all of the allegations are looking forward to being vindicated in court. Look, if we didn't see what we've seen of Louis Ruelas on the show, I might sort of just be like, bosh, bah, ha, ha, ha. everybody's just trying to come for Louis. But his behavior, his history still makes me kind of go, huh, let me hear more. Let me see what you're saying. Let me see the facts. But I also give you this other element of what these insiders are saying about Vanessa Riser as well. Because as I said to you before, I get things all the time about Louis Ruelas and I do not run with them all the time because I do feel like there is this campaign to discredit him. And I keep telling you guys, you don't need to do anything. He just needs to speak. <laughs> he needs to just speak for himself. He discredits himself at every turn. Guys, as always, I want to know your thoughts on this new story about Louis Ruelas, his former ex, and the accusations that he hired Bo Deedle again to spy on her. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.